New information tonight on the 200 year old tree that crushed a home in Midtown Mobile this week. Last night we told you about Sarah Horton, a widow with a life threatening disease who had her home heavily damaged by a rotting tree. Well, today an insurance adjuster paid her a visit. She told us that she has to stay out of her home she's lived in for the past 50 years for the next six months while her home is either rebuilt completely or repaired. Well, Sarah says insurance will cover her living expenses for one month and then assess it month to month after that. She doesn't know where she'll live for right now. Well, this isn't the first time one of these rotting trees has caused major property damage. Just last week, we showed you this, how a big falling tree limb shattered Leon Jackson's car back window on Cottage Hill. And that could have been deadly. It makes you wonder just how many weak trees are out there. In Mobile, an educated eye and new technology come together to provide some answers. NBC 15's Darwin Singleton says it could be a matter of life and limb. This is Peter Toller, a city employee. And what he's about to do to this magnolia tree is quite curious. As an urban forester for Mobile, Peter's interested in the health and protection of Mobile's cherished trees. And though some of them may appear to be strong and beautiful. A tree can be green on the outside and have as little as a three or four inch shell, which uh, biologically that makes it okay. But the key thing as far as risk management is the structure of the tree, the structural integrity. As a certified arborist, Peter can tell you if a tree is weak, needs to come down, or can live a longer, healthier life if a few changes are made. Everybody hears the word decay and thinks that's the doom and gloom. That's not the case. There was a time when Peter would start this process by simply tapping the tree with a mallet and listening to the sound. But today, he uses this impulse tomographer. After like attaching this. these electronic yeah. sensors to the tree trunk, he taps them, measuring the density of the wood. These low numbers mean that all the sensors are communicating correctly with each other. And from the tree health perspective, that's a really good sign. So, how is our magnolia tree? Well, let's ask the doctor. This is a solid tree. There's no there's no need to do any further diagnostic on this tree. This magnolia will continue its grand life, providing shade, soaking up water, and providing oxygen to the citizens of Mobile for a long time to come. In downtown Mobile, Darwin Singleton, NBC 15 News.